Hey guys, Catch Max Gifts. I'm going to be a nice guy and I'm going to show you how to put your jig together. Number one, get your jig square, corner to corner, and straight on your edges. I use a piece of OSB to square it up. And then I chalk a line and also level it. You can see I leveled it. You start one corner, work your way around with an eight foot level and level it good. He says that in the book. Now make a center line. Put your front one on, flush with the front. Put your back one on, wherever, you know. He has the measurements. So if you go to page 103, it tells you how to lay it out. So you start that one flush with the front, come back from there, 60, 60 and a half, doesn't really matter. To station six, mark station six. Blip. You can see I marked it right on the side. Station six, marked. Put the next jig. Then you put up your, your, your buck thing, you know, your horse to hold your stringers. So my stringers are ready in the back. They're laying back there. And that needs to be 28 and 3 eighths from the top to the top of the jig. So that's top of the jig is my OSB. So I just, it's 28 and 3 eighths. And then make sure, you know, I put a chalk line there and a chalk line there. And I put this jig and I mark the center of each jig piece exactly centered. And then I put it on that chalk line. It's in the middle of the boat. You get everything centered and you do the same thing there. You mark center on your buck. Okay. Now you got center mark there, center. You can see my whatchamacallit my bow stem thing is in the way. So slide it over there, center. Blink. And then I mark over an inch and a half so I know that the side of the buck that's going to hold the, the bow stem support will be center because the center is between the two two buys. I don't use this four by four because I'm too cheap. I just buy couple two buys that are straight and screw them together. And then, you know, get it all hooked up, whatever your measurements are. If you're doing wide body standard, jumbo doesn't matter. Do your measurements from there to there, like he says. I think this thing was 16 and some odd inches from where the angle meets. Uh, if you did more or less, you could add more rise if you wanted dory rise. I had to scab on here, you can see. I'm getting ready to glue up my bow. So, if you get everything centered, I'm going to center this thing. You will see that everything is centered. Well, it looks curved on the video, but it's not. It's centered the whole way back. And I, I put a square on here, and I centered that jig with a square. You can level it if your jig's level, too. So once you get everything centered, and then if that jig, the horse is centered, then when you put your stringers on and make the same height off the top of the... 28 and 3 eighths where your transom comes back here and do his level up thing with that little block, the angle block thing to get a 12 degrees or you can go 14 or 15 if you want more. Um, then your stringers will be perfectly level and horizontal and you can do what I did on this jumbo. You can use those stringers to make your string, you can't use level because the boat's not level, but you can square 90 with big squares, so that all your bulkheads there and station six bulkhead are perfectly, or is uh, perfectly not at a 90 from the stringers. So these stringers are within a 16th of an inch for width and everything. So all my bulkheads are good and level. And then you can use that, you know, use your stringers because they're horizontal to make your top of your bunks, etc. You know. And so I hope that helps. Uh, just make sure your square level plumb. Then when you flip the boat upright, you'll be really happy because your stringers are right. I've seen a couple builders get their stringers way off and then they got nothing to measure off of and they're actually pulling their hair out because they're not square plumb level. Um, you can't level, remember that. Once you get the boat upright, the only thing you can do is square off the stringers. Um, once you do that, then you can make all your bulkheads right. So if you start here and you do it right and everything is centered, and your bow is centered, then you can make center lines and everything looks good. So hope that helps.